Here is Baraka. Baraka is going to take her to see Bar. Uh, no, no, sorry. Silas is going to take her to see Baraka, which is a rhino. Uh, black? Black rhino. Black rhino. Blind, blind black rhino. So, guys, we're going to see blind black rhino. And Cyrus is going to take us to the place. First of all, as usual, because of Corona, we have to sanitize, wash your hands, social distance. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus, how big is the place? Uh, no, 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 here. Yeah. Six, 600 acres? Just this area? Wow. The area is 600 acres. Only 600 acres? Aye. <laughs> 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 So guys, we're right in the middle of Olpegeta Conservancy. We're still doing rounds. Sheila here, looking all nice and beautiful. Logeri, the tall man, right there. Yeah. Kim is right here with the nice tattoos. <laughs> She's sanitizing. Sean is right here, the silent go guy, <laughs> the silent killer. The silent killer is here. And then the cheeky one is here, Lee. The stubborn cheeky lady is here. And we have Gitoho, the man himself, the lady's killer. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, let's wait and I'll show you the I'll show you Baraka the in our field. Uh, my name is Cyrus and uh, I'll brief you concerning on Pedita Conservancy. Thank and you. Opendeta entirely covers 90,000 acres of land, which have been subdivided into four major sectors. We have North Sector, Eastern Sector, Western Sector, <coughs> and Southern Sector. At the moment, where this uh, rhino sanctuary is located, it's at Eastern Sector, right? Yeah. And uh, we have a variety of animals, like you can see here. We have both the nocturnals, yeah. those animals that are active during the night, and animals that are active during the day, which are duanos. But uh, we are very lucky to have all the big five in this park. Do you know the big five? Yes. You know the, all of them. Okay, what you try to say, Yes. There is the lion, yes. the elephant, uh -huh. the rhino. Yes. Buffalo. 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 A buffalo. Hello. One more. Cheetah. Cheetah. No, cheetah no. is not no. a big five. Uh, the hippo. Is no. that? What's the other big five? Oh, no, the, the last one. Yeah, that's the Masama The big five. Masama Gaya. There's lion, buffalo, elephant, elephant rhino. Rhino. chimpanzee. Rhino. rhino. And then the fifth one? Rhino. Giraffe? Giraffe is not a big five. No. Uh, leopard. So let's start again. Uh, there is lion. 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 Buffalo. 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 Elephant. 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 Rhino. 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 Lion, rhino. buffalo, elephant, rhino. Yes. And then elephant. the fifth one. A leopard, who has a leopard. Yes. Leopard. A leopard is a big five. Yes. Yeah, but I said the leopard. Tiny, but, but the leopard is a tiny little thing. So do you, I have a question. Do you yeah. know why they are called big five of the world? Me, I thought they were they are big. Because they are big, yeah? I, I, I think because of being pretty. Yeah, the reason why they are called, I'll explain. Yeah. The reason why they are called big five is because they are animals that human found it hard to hunt. Right? Ah. And they were, they had very precious game trophies. Right? Mm -hmm. For example, you wouldn't say that a buffalo has a very important trophy. Kangalizo Pembezake is in a car to me. But there is a way that you can you can actually preserve it yeah. and treat it and it will be a very wonderful kind of a, a, a horn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or a, actually a, a game trophy. Mm -hmm. And I want to show you one. So come. Huh? Oh. All the big tribes are very dangerous. And they are like a big one. Everyone would like to have such. But they are big five. But it's a mere buffalo. That is the thing. Yes. That's but it has been treated well and uh, stored. So, like I said that alone, they are animals that humans found it hard to hunt. Also, and that's why they became big five because they were hard to hunt. Yeah, they were hard to hunt. So the, the, we needed to. Basically, humans were looking for something easier to kill. Hard, yeah, of course. They you know, the reason why people used to hunt. Purely for food. Yeah. So, 
But can they can they can they Nini survive without this? Can a buffalo survive without this? Like if you if you took off the buffalo at home. It's it's normal when they are growing up, yeah. when they are young boobs yeah. or young cows, you can trim them just like our cattle. Okay. Right? And if you trim them, they will not regrow. They will not grow again. But what do they use them for? For, mostly for defense. Yeah. So if, uh, another reason we stopped involving our rhinos and elephants. Because if you cut it, what do we expect to defend itself? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they require horns for self-defense. So again, in this conservancy, we are privileged to have a rhino sun, a, a, a chief sanctuary. But we are not going to visit there. So you know why? What? Because you have girls. Yeah. The corona. Yeah, no, no, not girls. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because of corona, of course. Because no of, because of girls. Yeah. Because Remember, kids are ninety-eight percent our DNA. Okay. So all the airborne diseases, yeah. right? Yeah. Or rather, all, actually, almost ninety-seven percent of human diseases they can get. When is a better home? Yes. It's a Ata malaria. malaria. Yes. Malaria, no. Yeah. Actually, that's the only disease that we don't go sharing with them. Why? Uh, sorry, because sorry. of their DNA. Oh, their okay. DNA is so that that's the difference, DNA? Supportive, yes. So, the reason why we are here, we yeah. are going to see a blind black rhino called okay. Baraka, uh-huh. who is a semi-tamed rhino, right? Semi. Semi-tamed rhino. So, right? semi-wild, huh? Means it's 50-50. Okay. Oh, so it can so, change. Uh, the hey, rhino yeah. was brought here almost nine years ago. Nine okay. years. And it was found by rangers, our patrol rangers, who had uh, who found it actually wandering in the bushes because it was completely blind. Lost one of the eye through yeah. fighting with other bull uh, rhinos, and then the other eye got yeah. infected by cataracts. So it went ah. completely oh. blind. Oh, okay. yeah. So for its survival, yeah. it had to be brought somewhere yeah. which uh, will, will, will make its life thrive. Yeah. Okay. So we've given it a hundred acres. A hundred yeah, acres? Even one yeah. rhino, a hundred acres. Yeah, oh my god. Baraka, right? Yeah. So whatever you can see here, well, we don't start with this. We start with Baraka and then and we Baraka. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rhino is a hundred acres. <laughs> so I want us first of all to go and take a look at uh, Baraka yes. okay. and that, then just in case you have any questions. There is a lot that you can learn here. So who's the, who knows this? Who might guess what is this? You need to see the world that is cooking here. The corridor. And it was so much. So these are animal corridors. Uh-huh. And the reason why or the importance having animal corridors in this park yeah. is because we have some animals that are migratory, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know of an animal that is migratory? Wild beasts. Yes, wild beasts, but we do not have wild beasts in the north part of Kenya. Or what else? Is a gazelle any migratory? No. They are more territorial. We have a big animal that you like most. Zebra. A big. Elephant. Yeah, elephant. Uh, migratory. Uh, elephants are migratory. The reason why we create corridors ah. from elephants. Is it elephants. Bit, is it bit of, the way they walk slowly, they migrate. Actually, we don't have any huh? elephant of a certain place. Oh. Ah. They live, they wander about. Those things right? with the slow, they are, how long does it take them? Those things are not fast. Elephants you know? walk really far distance in yeah. a very short time. Uh-huh. We got actually elephants can gallop or rather they can run at a speed of almost 55. Uh, kilometers per hour or even Whoa. 60. Whoa. They have speed, but they yeah. don't as they are walking, they yeah. don't run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What 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 happens with them? Yeah. Yeah. They are very good in le- resilience. They can walk a distance, yeah. a far distance, just keeping the same pace. Ah. Okay. So these are some of uh, just an example of what poachers use yeah. in okay. terms of uh, well we have some that are more traditional. They used spears and arrows. Uh, they also used uh, snares and traps like this one. Ah. Do you know how this one works? In a chicken. So it's supposed to be like, Open. opened up and then set there. And then because an elephant will come and step on it. It's a phone. Ah. But it will break the leg. That's uh, what uh, the poachers want. The poachers want. Uh, they uh, make uh, it. They uh, name it and then they kill it. I'm interested in saying in order of nuisance. What does that mean? 
What do you mean? We have animals, of course. Uh -huh. Well, animals are good, but again, yeah. they also pose some danger to our community as well as community's yeah. property. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. We have some animals that are problematic. We won't necessarily call them nuisance, yeah. but they are problematic. Right? Yeah. They go destroy, um, like elephant, they go into human lands yeah. and destroy eat their crop yes. and those guys are bitter. Oh, yeah. the right? Baboons destroy guts. Baboons? Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Cyrus, let us in a What do you let us do? Cyrus, let us in a Mostly Hey guys, that's an elephant skull as you can see. Cyrus is taking us around now. So Cyrus has been explaining to us a few details about the animals here, the big five specifically. Yeah, yeah, we will dedicate. Really so we'll be back here. We started the. Uh... Nice. So Sarah will continue. Where are the rest? I need to explain so that I don't repeat. So basically, yes. This is how predator looks like. Oh, but, okay. Uh, this is the actual predator. From this end, right. along this part, I'll explain about the other But okay. this is how Vegeta looks like. Yeah. And it's 90,000. I said it's 90,000. Hectares, yeah. And at the moment, we are located at this part. Right? Yeah. We are at um, this sanctuary, which is the Rhino sanctuary. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, we are calling it Baraka. Baraka. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, if you look at it, it doesn't necessarily mean the way we uh, like drew some pictures means that you'll find some cheetahs here, some rhinos here, some giraffe here. Yeah. It's just a random, a random thing. Uh, but most of the animals in this park are distributed in these uh, around 30,000 acres, which is the eastern sector. 30,000? Yes. Uh -huh. So yourself, you are living around this area. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So you yeah. go this way, this way, this way, this way, up here. Yeah. Oh, so that's where we are now. Yes. So we haven't covered all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think you can cover it even in a month. It's a very huge area. Oh my. And then this beach, <laughs> it had a purpose for us extending it. Okay. It was a, it is a recent purchased land, which is almost twenty thousand acres. That is Jumbo Mutara. Yes. Okay. Uh, there is an area that we've purchased for uh, pure conservation. Since we've reached our target yeah. of black rhinos, yeah. it's yeah. a very big achievement for, for, for this park and for the nation. Yeah. Remember, we are the leading uh, sanctuary. Yeah. I would actually comfortably say in Africa to, yeah. have, uh, to be a breeding center for rhinos, especially black rhinos. Okay. We started with actually less than 10 black rhinos a yeah. uh -huh. few years ago, but at the moment we are talking of 130 plus. Oh. Ah. So, since our capacity is 120, yeah. we need to translocate some rhinos to this land ah. so that they can have space. They can keep, yeah, they can have space and again they don't fight. For uh, total, yeah. Because if we put like 200 oh, yeah. here, yeah. we lose like 50 within no time because they fight. They are aggressive animals. Oh, yeah. Okay. Any question? Uh, my, my are you intended to do the same for white rhinos? This yes, yes. We hope. Here. Uh, we hope. Just like I didn't, I don't know whether you watched uh, the TV two days ago. Hmm? A day before yesterday. No, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We uh, eggs extraction for our rhinos. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we extracted the two northern white rhinos that are remaining in the whole world. Yeah. And we hope to bring back the, the entire race through insemination. Right? Okay. Yeah. So we've chosen some southern white rhino, which is a close subspecies of northern white rhino. Okay. Yeah. will be some uh, surrogate mothers. Right? Yeah. yeah. So this simply means don't want to carry a child, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. You are so you choose you you choose your, your family yeah. taken out, and the eggs are taken out, and then she goes to get to family. Uh, of course, no, it's a no, close subspecies of <laughs> Any other question? That's good. That's a good side. Thank you. Thank you. Let's proceed to the right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, I don't know whether you found this animal. You are doing a game by the teacher. No, which are this? These are my collectors. Is that domestic calf? 
But they have the highest resistance in terms of surviving in the wild. They are very pretty, pretty bear homes, and they are not heavy, they are hollow. Those holes are hollow. Ah. They are here. We have lots of them. You can even, you can even milk them, still. We don't milk them. Purposely, there is reason why we have domestic animals in this park. Yeah. It's for a major importance of having a very healthy, ecosystem oh. right we allow all our cattle not, not, not only the ankole breed yeah. but we also have the zebra they graze along around our park yeah. right and then they collect all this and they collect all ticks that they can to spray this yeah. they can oh. the ticks. since oh. we can't tell our cow our our, 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 our elephants to go to our spray this yeah. we yeah, eliminate using this. all chances of having tick on this oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so this is the safest kind of our park Yes, as well as as they are grazing. Remember, we also use some. Uh, we also have a slaughterhouse, so we sell meat. Oh, okay. Uh, sell meat. Ah, nice. So it. it where is your where, where is your slaughterhouse? Kind of business. Where is your slaughterhouse? Still here. Up and down Yes, yes. We can live with meat today. Yeah, if you want it. Okay. It's possible to purchase meat, it. Meat. Uh, to place an order. <laughs> <laughs> meat eaters are attending right. vegan. Right. Okay. Go. We go. Yeah. You do a, you, Cyrus, you do a good job. You do yeah. a very good job, yeah. He does. Cyrus does a good job. Huh? This no. is the first time. I've never been in Nanyuki before. So guys, Cyrus is taking us to Baraka. Yeah. <laughs> and Baraka alone lives in a hundred acres it's of land. It's lonely, but, but surely of all these women buffaloes to come Huh? No, you're not a... You're not what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, we'll repeat, we'll repeat, we'll repeat that. A kind of inferior domain. Can you, Cyrus, can you repeat that for the men again? <laughs> yeah, they were here telling us about one thing needing 40 women. Now, can you tell us that uh, you had that? The bush pigs are the what hogs? Or the what hogs and their bush pigs? They're two separate things. They're separate subspecies. Okay. Mostly the forest hogs find them in number two. Okay. Okay, guys, now we are at. Uh, we're going to see the. We are at the viewing point. We want to look at. Uh, Spab, Spab Stalin. Spab Stalin. Wow, that's a nice one. Oh, that one. Okay, let's guess from Stalling Bad. This is a bad guy. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, it's good. There it is. Superb Stalling Bad, according to Cyrus. Uh, so we're going to see now Baraka. This 
this is Barak. Uh, Barak is a blind buyer. It's on a private land. And it's well taken care of. It must be blessed now, so. We're going to try and, and get closer to Baraka. Hopefully, we will manage to. As you can see, so you can see them. This one of his toilets, he has, he has three toilets here. Yeah. And he can everywhere. He can come here, scoop it. Actually, he scoops it. Like make sure that they are not uh, in terms of using the camera. And as we get up high, so that's the reason you can see. Yeah. Where are the other two toilets? There's another one. Yeah. Yeah. But we can get in. Okay. So we can get in. And then there's the sasa. Yeah. Na. Oh, do you like that? Na ile na ile. Na ni bucket loading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you can slide me on the and then? Well, I can't do it, but if you can pick Santiago, it might be dangerous. You can do it. No, even if he's blind, he's a bad boy. Yeah, I said he's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. To the ladies. 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 To the ladies first. To the ladies first. So guys, this is Baraka. Even if he was in the wild, he would make the same. Even those guys in the wild, they look like him. Even some people pity them. They want to pity them. These guys have a very deep skin. So what are you guys in the same way? So literally, they have a thick skin. They are there. They are just on the stair. What's the idea? They are there. They are there. They are there. Yes, I Okay, so video. Yeah. 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 So that's the Mambo. Okay. Na unasema sasa. Wewe wacha kuongea, usiseme. Kimu usishikwe. I saw umesema wa Mlandes. Nyaugenya usiangalie logedi. Usimwangalie na mtek video. Mbona ni kama na usiangalie. Ona lazima usema kama utasoma wa mnyonyezi. How did you know? Naruso kufanya logedi hivi. Aye yeye hapana ufanye hivyo. Mbona msongeana kidogo hapo karibu eh? Sikuja hapo kunywa chai.